And in this video, I want to go ahead and set up a function that we can use to more easily destroy our sessions. Because currently, for example, as you can see, I have no instance of my game running. I have a session open though. And if I search for lobbies, the same, you know, same way that we did before. As you can see, I do find my session here. Even though it says there's no players in it, the session is still there and open. It has not been destroyed yet. So what I want to do is I want to set this up so we can destroy our session. So basically we're going to have a button that says quit. When we hit that, we're going to destroy our session. And then we are going to close the game. So to begin, let's go ahead and work on the, the uh, destroy session function. So we're going to make this again, blueprint callable. And I'll actually just go ahead and copy paste. And just call it destroy session. Then we're going to have on destroy session complete. I do not believe these are the correct parameters, so we will just get there once we get there. Then it's going to be in the same manner. Doesn't really matter too much, but if we're logged in and the online system system is valid and we get the session interface, we can do what we need to. So we're going to copy these three if statements from our create session function and paste them in and give them their closing brackets. From here, we're going to do session pointer destroy session and then we just want to give it the session name so instead of constantly having to type this out for the session name which is test session what i want to do is go ahead and give a constant expression of what this should be equal to so at the top of our .cpp file i'm going to do const expression and let's call this one f name session name and that's going to be equal to f name and then the same name that we always use, and that we're in this case, which is going to be test session. Like so. So now we can use session name and have one place where we can control it from. So now we just got to replace this inside of create session and inside of destroy session. We're going to pass that in as well. And then the other parameter was the delegate of which we should pass in. We can pretty much bind this in the same manner. So actually, out of curiosity, does this take it in as well? Or is that just for destroy session? Okay, I'm guessing that's just for destroy session. So let's go to our destroy session function. F on destroy session complete delegate. Keep going to it. Oops. Okay, so it takes in a F name and a Boolean. So let's see, can we go back any farther? Okay, I'm being a little bit blind here in my thinking. Okay, there we go. Delegate fired when a destroying an all session has been completed. So it takes in the session name, the name of the session that this is called back for, and whether or not it was successful. So it takes in an F name, so the session, and a Boolean. So yeah, we actually have the correct parameters right there. That is already done. Okay, so then we want to go ahead and bind it basically in the same manner that we do here. So we add the U object of basically our destroy session. And you're going to have to forgive me if I forget the syntax. So let's see. Actually, I'm not 100% sure. Let me double check really quick and see. Okay, so it didn't occur to me, but basically we can bind this in the same manner. So session pointer, we search for destroy. Dumb me did not notice the actual delegate that is here. So basically we can bind this in the exact same manner that we do with our create session. So we just dot add u object, and that is going to be to our on destroy session complete. So this, then the address of u eos game instance on destroy session complete. Then I want to do basically the same thing. So without the login check, just so we can clear this delegate for the future. So we get our session pointer. We want to clear on destroy session complete delegates and just pass in this for the object. So we are doing that here for on create session. So that's good as well. And I think we are pretty much good to go. So we now have a destroy session that we can easily call. To begin, let's go ahead and actually set up the button for that. 
And as you can see here, we ended up getting in with an error due to my, uh, I guess you could say, declaration of session name. So in my case, I made a goof. We want to use a constant, not a constant expression. So anyways, go ahead and change that to a constant and then go ahead and launch. Okay, so now we're getting the issue of declaration session name hides uh, global declaration. So my guess is there's something that, oh, literally as it states, that already uses session name. So we have to give it something else. So I'm just going to call it test session name, and then go down and replace session name with test session name. And let's go ahead and build just to make sure that we are good to go and we succeed. So let's launch. Okay, now that we're in the editor, let's go ahead and work on our widget. Here we have create session that's in our vertical box. I'm going to copy and paste it in and rename this to destroy session. Then do the same thing for the text. So create session to destroy session. Now back to the button. Let's go ahead and add an on clicked event. We're going to get the game instance, cast it to our EOS game instance, just like before, and call destroy session. And what I want to do as well is for the time being, when we destroy the session, we want to quit the game. So I'm going to give mine a little delay of something like a half second, so 0.5, and just literally call quit game. Compile and save, and now we can give it a try. So I'm going to go ahead and close down the editor and launch via the batch file. Well, if you're unaware, we are also using the DevAuth tool. So basically, we're going to be using that in every single video where we have to actually log in, which has already been expressed in previous videos. So anyways, we're now logged in. We're good to go, as you can see here. Let's go ahead and create the session. All right, we created the session. We know we're good to go. Now we can go ahead and hit Destroy Session. Then a half second later, we close it down. So now I want to search the lobbies again. And for the attribute key, I can never for the life of me. Okay, so it's search keywords without an underscore. The type is going to be string, condition not equal, and I'm just going to do df. And we search. And so far, it appears we have found nothing. So let's go ahead and just confirm that really quick. We're going to go ahead and start one more session. Probably should have did this in the first place, but wasn't really thinking of it. So go ahead and get everything launched up. Let's close this guy and create session. There we go. Go back to search lobbies. Type string, condition, not equal, then any old text. So here's our lobby. Go back here and hit destroy session. Click it. Game closes down. Search for lobbies again. Same exact thing. String. Condition is not equal. And any old text. And now it seems like we do not have a session. Yep. We no longer have a lobby up. So we are good to go. We have our destroy session function set up and going. So we know that it works. So that will just allow us to do some I guess you could say more easy cleanup for later down the road. So that way when we're doing some testing and all that kind of stuff with our sessions and we want to find our session, we no longer will have a basically a uh, a old decaying session in the background running somewhere. So anyways, that is going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that is also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.